is the first morning since ever it's been born that I have actually done chores by myself. He's almost six months old. <laughs> I have done chores. I've done chores with him, but I've never actually gone out by myself. And to be honest, I'm having a little bit of anxiety about that. Because he's inside with Junior. This is also the first morning that I've actually done chores with the electric fence. Haven't watched that video? Check it out. We also put our chicken coop door on for winter time. It's just a plexiglass door that goes over our wire door. Pretty simple to make and pretty efficient. See if I can do this without electrocuting myself. How does he expect me to reach that? Our McMurray chicks are doing good. We have seven of them. That's it. That's all we have right now. All we have are ducks and chickens. And that's okay, because we're thinking about moving in the spring. And the less I have to move, the better. So I'm gonna get inside and Check on these crazy boys. What are you doing? Huh? Do you think you're a big boy? Do you think you're a big boy? Hi. 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 Yeah, what's on today's agenda other than we have ducklings hatching and that might be about it I think I'm gonna clean my kitchen it's a mess I'll try to get some lights above the cabinet uh, for Christmas and then whatever today brings it brings rotisserie chicken left over <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make a chicken pot pie today I'm not gonna go through the whole recipe with you I'm actually gonna link in the description and above a um, video to the recipe it's really good check it out I recently watched a video where she said if you haven't used something in a year in your kitchen then you're probably not gonna use it 
So it inspired me to declutter all of my cabinets, and that's what I'm doing here. Trying to make my cabinets more efficient in this small farmhouse kitchen. Ducks are extremely hard to hatch and we have reached that point where I think I'm going to have to help some of them out. So these eggs pipped, you see this thick membrane, how dry it is, and then I'll show you the under membrane. So here's the outer membrane right under, I don't know if you can see it or not, right under the egg, and then here is the inner membrane right here it's softer but it's supposed to be pretty wet and it's not it has dried out quite a bit which is what happens with duck eggs after the first few batches hatch now you're never quite sure because we're not God right so your goal is to just pip and zip the egg for them and then have them do the rest of the work. Now I've got about five eggs in here that need this help. See the issue is that, let me show you, see he's shrink wrapped in here, it's what we call shrink wrapped. See he's, he's still pretty, he's pretty stuck with this stuff. So the issue though is that if they're not ready to come out, then you take the risk of hatching them too soon. Let's see, he's ready to come out. And then them having a lot of yolk not absorbed yet. So generally I would just leave this part on, but as I'm uncovering him, I'm noticing that he's he's pretty much ready to come out because none of this coloring is bright red it's all dark brown so he's he's probably ready and we're just gonna give him a little bit of a push kind of help him out come on And you want to be really gentle when you're doing this. So a lot of times they'll just pop right out in your hand. But he's he's trying really hard. This foot right here is stuck. Come on, you can do it. There we go. I can hear this chick in here, this duckling, and he has a really weak peep because he is super shrink wrapped. And see, I'm just pulling this off and there's so much. Now, here's what we don't wanna see. Do you see that red right there? That's blood. So, 
You don't typically want to see red blood because it means they're not quite ready to come out. But in my experience, it could also mean that they're just really stuck in there. Okay, so this isn't the case. He's not quite ready to come out. He is struggling a bit. So I'm going to end up having to help him either way. I'm just not going to help him out right now. But he's still pretty liquidy in there. So I'm going to let him sit for a while longer. Okay, I'm going to check these eggs again to see if see if they're any better now. No, this dude is shrink wrapped completely. I don't know if you can see, but right here, it's dry as dry can be. So we're gonna peel that open. No, so that's the veins in, in the egg. And he's got a lot of veinage going on, but it's not oozing. It's when the, it's when the veins bleed profusely and you start seeing bleeding happen. That's when you need to stop. You need to stop and say, okay, he's not ready yet. He's still pretty wet, but his membrane is completely dry. So, no. This one I'm just gonna pull open just a little bit and let him back in there and see if he'll eventually push himself out. I don't think he's alive anymore. I think he pipped on the wrong end. No? I could be wrong. Look, he's completely and totally wrapped in there. Here's a really good example of what happens to eggs, duck eggs. Completely and totally shrink wrapped in there. Now, he's not quite ready to come out. Pay attention to ever. But I am gonna open it up a little bit. See, that's the oozing blood I'm talking about. Yeah. That, me that means he's not ready to come out yet. But he was wrapped up in there pretty tight, so we're just gonna leave him like that. All right, so we've got the two eggs in here. They are not fully hatched yet. We are just basically going to let them try to hatch on their own because there is some bleeding still. What's wrong? He says, pay attention to me, I've already hatched. All right, so the baby's fed for the umpteenth time. The ducks are trying to hatch. I'm gonna try with the 15 minutes that I have of spare time, now that the baby's been fed again, to finish getting this kitchen organized. And my goal has been to declutter and purge and try to get this stuff out of the way. It's a small kitchen and I want efficiency more than anything, so this is just the life of a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> and today, I've gotta get that kitchen done, so I'm gonna do that. And then, hopefully by the time I'm done, these ducklings will have hatched. So they're not out yet. Um, this one, light colored one, looks like it's trying to come out. And so I think we're gonna let him or her try to go on his own. The other one I'm more concerned with, um, that one doesn't really seem to be very active at all. 
and still pretty wet, which could mean we just decided to help it too early. But it doesn't matter. It would have gotten shrink wrapped anyhow because it was already shrink wrapped in there. Um, so I'm going to wait and see if the wetness of the duckling actually helps now that the moisture is going in there. Um, actually helps rehydrate that lining to see if it'll come out on its own. Because ultimately you want your ducklings and your chicks to hatch on their own. It makes them stronger. It, they're, they're healthier because of it. Um, but if it doesn't come out, then we will certainly help it and keep a close eye on it to make sure it's healthy and strong. Yes, I was in it to you now. just came out. What in the world? Oh my gosh, throw this out, throw this out, throw this out. Take it up to the trash can. I'm pretty sure I've changed my outfit like 20 times in this video, but I cannot get comfortable. Like I'm hot, then I'm cold, then I'm kinda hot, then I'm kinda cold. So right now I'm putting on this rusty sweater. Also, I'm pretty sure Junior forgot about his hot chocolate. finally getting around to that chicken pot pie. Check out the recipe in the description below and the video that I've linked as well. Oh hey, you're sitting up like a big boy. <laughs> You're sitting up like a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so this last duck is... I don't really know. Nature sometimes knows best. And I'm thinking that nature is going to know best with this guy. He is bleeding a lot. But yet yeah, he's really, really shrink wrapped up in there. And he is way behind on hatching. So, I've opened him up a little bit more, but I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see if he actually makes it or not. The other duck hatched just fine, but we're going to let this little guy go for longer. Alright guys, so I'm wrapping it up tonight. I will probably make a clip first thing in the morning to let you know if that duck made it or not. Um, but yeah, I think I'm done for the day. It's been a pretty good day. We got a lot accomplished, kind of, and, and I am ready to call it a night. So thanks for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, 
please consider subscribing. Don't forget to like this video. It helps me out a lot. If you give it a thumbs up, comment if you want to, and just have a great day. Happy homesteading. Unfortunately, the next morning, the baby duck hatched and only lived for a few hours. It was nice to cuddle him, though, while he was here. Sometimes that's just the circle of life, and things happen on a homestead that you can't control. Either way, it was a great hatch, it was a great day, and we're still thankful for every gift we receive.